Modern women unhappy for various reasons, but is this a big one? Previous boyfriends, sorry, but we're going to talk about orgasms because let's be honest, I did myself a disservice. I'm probably thinking you have too, and we need to fix it. Well, that's interesting. Why is she apologizing to multiple boyfriends? I mean, you'd have to think, wait a second. So there are women out there who have had multiple boyfriends, had multiple sexual partners, and for some women, they barely, if ever, climaxed. Damn. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Some of you think it isn't, but my point is, some of you listening have been boyfriends and husbands, and many of you know women fake it. And I'm going to show you some stats in a second, but the point of this one is, yes, many modern women are unhappy because their sex lives are trash, but many men should understand how much women are lying to you about your bedroom skills. This is a two-sided coin. Look at this. From healthline.com, what is orgasmic dysfunction? Oh God. Orgasmic dysfunction is a condition that occurs when someone has difficulty reaching orgasm. The difficulty occurs even when they're sexually aroused and there's sufficient sexual stimulation. So get this men, even when some women are turned on, lubed up and everything, and as a man you think, yeah, yeah, still doesn't mean she's gonna get there. Still doesn't mean she's gonna get there. When this condition occurs in women, it's known as female orgasmic dysfunction. What? Okay, or FOD for short, FOD. Men can also experience orgasmic dysfunction, but but this is much less common, obviously. Obviously, because of men. Here, here, woof, woof, as men, yeah. <laughs> Small tangent, the benefit of being a man is that, you know, for the most part, yeah, we're gonna bust a nut during sex. Shout out men. And something to note before we continue, you have to think, well, women would look at sex differently to us pretty much orgasm most of the time, if not all the time, whereas they don't, depending on certain situations. But let's continue. Many women have difficulty reaching orgasm with a partner, even after ample sexual stimulation. Studies suggest orgasmic dysfunction affects 11 to 41% of women. Now, do some of you understand what that means? Do some of you see already? Think about it like this, 11 to 41% of women aren't busting a nut during sex. Do you see what that could mean on so many levels? Yes, as we know, many women fake it, but do some men understand to what degree and level they fake it? To the point where some men think they're knocking some women's backs out, the reality is no, they're not. They're pounding away, but nothing's happening. This is trash AF. But then again, women are the greatest liars, the great pretenders. What causes orgasmic dysfunction? It can be difficult to determine the underlying causes of orgasmic dysfunction. Women may have difficulty reaching due to physical, emotional, or psychological factors. But a few things I want to note, from the obvious things, cultural or religious beliefs, interesting, shyness, guilt about enjoying sexual activity. My point is, do you then understand why in this modern liberated culture, women need to sing so hard about their waps? Suck it. Do you see why women need to bolster it and boast about it so much? Do you understand how much modern women are capping, faking it? Not just in the bedroom, in general. Think of how many women out there are faking entire relationships. I mean, we know this already, but think about it from this perspective. Women know men want sex. Women also know we as men have egos and we're arrogant. So women know by faking it, they can make many men or decent men or whatever man that's doing them, make him feel as if he's doing a lot. She's just playing a long game. A long game. So guys, please do one thing and stop faking it. Hey everybody and a huge welcome back to my channel. Now don't forget to subscribe because this is about to get sexy. Dad, I'm so sorry. Previous boyfriends, sorry. But we're going to talk about orgasms because let's be honest, I did myself a disservice. I'm probably thinking you have too and we need to fix it. So for a lot of us, orgasms is something that some of us may not have experienced. We may have had a couple. We may be freaking phenomenal and having them all the time on our own, but we might not be having them with our partner. And let's be honest, a lot of us have faked it. I faked it, hands up below if you have faked it. And really all we ended up doing was destroying it for ourselves because they think they've hit the nail on the head, but they haven't. And we're then laying there like, Want to go again? Do you see the point already? Now, now there are so many realms I can go with this one, but let's just stay focused on a few simple things. I think in a previous body count video, I can't remember which one, but a point to make again, do you understand how many women out there are out there having fun as they say they are, but do you think they're really having the full, the full euphoric orgasmic fun that some of them, you know, claim they're having, claim they're having. Bullshit. Understand men, even down to that is a fake as well. There are certain aspects about this we see differently because 
you know, we orgasm most of the time, if not every damn time. Yeah. Even if the sex is bad. <laughs> I love being a man. So understand men, understand why so many women have a different perspective on sex than we do. It doesn't mean they like it less than we do. No. But understand the act for us is going to be far more enjoyable than a decent amount of women unless, unless you're a man that is really putting it down. And they're asleep like, <sighs> it's over. So really all that's happened is you've kind of faked your way through something because you wanted to please them, which is lovely. It's great that we want to please people, but what about pleasing ourselves? And eventually the relationship is just going to take a big nosedive because you are not getting what you deserve. And ladies, if you've done it on your own, you know what you deserve. And there is a huge difference between getting to the end and not getting to the end. So guys, please do one thing and stop faking it. Now, I know how awkward this can be. We need to be more honest. Now, if you are at the point where you're single and you're able to have one night stands or, or just hooking up with people that you like, that's amazing because you're kind of in the best boat. You can be as brutally honest as you like and you can really use all the sass that you have to be like, no, this is not right. Stop doing that. Do it this way. Change it around. Flip me over. Flip me forward. That's great, you can be so honest. All that takes is a little bit of confidence and I guess feeling like you're in a position and you're safe to be able to say those things to someone. And confidence in the bedroom. It's funny how this topic is always seem to be put on men. Like the weight of this in the bedroom is always put on men. But men, look at how damaging this is to women by them just not being direct and honest. You see, as men, many of us as men complain that women aren't direct. Seriously, that's trash. So my point here, men, is do you see how much modern women are capping and hindering themselves and blaming you, blaming us, when many modern women are lying so much that they're making their own lives trash. But you want me. And trust me, they will respect you. It's way hotter if someone's like, can you do this? Then someone going, huh, yeah, that was great. Crap. However, if you are where I was in previous relationships and you've been with them for a while and you've faked it and they think they're getting you there every time and they are not getting you anywhere, then you're kind of in a tricky situation. And that is where I have like a couple of pointers. Now, I am not getting there every single time. Girls, I take freaking forever. I mean, I'm phenomenal on my own, but when it comes to placing an order with a partner, it takes a long time for my order to come. And men, if you look at the comment section underneath this video, you will see how many women agree with everything she's just said. I'm just saying. So with that in mind, I really recommend a particular film, which I will link below. And you may think this is really weird, but over Christmas, we were trying to catch up with films and, and just spending some chill, night, chill time together. And I came across this film called Second Night Stand. I don't know who the cast is in it, but they were fantastic. The premise behind the film is that this couple, they have a one night stand, they get snowed in, so then they're stuck together. And because they don't, they don't care about each other, they don't, you know, they don't know each other, they're able to go, so last night, was that good? And he was like, well, it was okay. And she was like, it was really not good for me. I didn't finish. I know you did, but it could have been quicker. could have been faster. You could have done this. And so effectively, she said all the things we want to say to our partners. And it was so great to listen to. I was just there like, I wish I'd said that to all my previous ex-boyfriends because guys, we never made it. We didn't get there. Think of how many women have had multiple ex-boyfriends that never got them there but they made them think they did. And I was lying to you and, and it was really bad. And now I'm with Leon, seven years strong, and that boy gets it. He knows how to complete an order. He is fantastic. But I think also comes down to the fact that one, I love the phones out of him. Two, I trust him complicitly. Three, we are able to be honest. And honesty spans across every part of your relationship, whether it's honesty about how you feel about each other or honesty about if you're cheating on each other or honesty about your sex life, it is so important. So basically when I sat down and watched this movie, Second Night Stand with Leon, she was saying all that stuff and I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how do you feel babe? Should we be doing the same thing? And it just brought it up without either of us having to talk about it, it made it a comfortable thing to talk about. So if you're feeling the same, I would recommend putting the movie on, not letting him know what's gonna be happening. And then when that scene comes around, you can kind of go, yeah, I think. Okay, yeah, okay. What she's saying has elements of cleverness to it. But men, do you see how far women will go to get to a simple point? Whereas men, we'd just be more direct. Like, why don't you just say it? You don't need to put a film on, drag me through this trash film. Proper bullshit. To get to a point where you want to tell me what you want me to do to you in the bedroom, just tell me. But obviously it's women, they do this nonsense. They fake it to the point where, you know, 
they're not faking it anymore, I guess. So in other words, some women drag it out. But it's like, just get to the point. We could improve too, don't you think? Let's give it a go. I can't wink, so apologies. <laughs> and see what happens. It's a great mover. Otherwise, guys, if you just don't feel that you can talk to them about this, the only person that's suffering here is you. And it's a really vital part. You don't have to have an orgasm every time you have sex. What? That is so sad. Oh, my God. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. It's not funny. You know, that is so sad. But, I mean, men, think about what she just said. I mean, that's not... That, that, that's not really a thought for us, is it? Like, it, it man, you don't have to orgasm every time you have sex. It's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. But it's like, it's one of those moments you appreciate so much from being a man. It's like, that, that's not... That's not my reality, really. It'd be phenomenal if you could. But let's be honest, I think the female brain works a little bit differently. And I'm so like wired to think, you know, my email list of things to do that sometimes I just can't switch this big noggin off. Um, so it's not fair. And um, also I'm guilty of, you know, we don't have sex all the time. So sometimes Leon reverts back to being like a schoolboy and there's just not enough time, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm sorry, Leon, that's totally my fault. Wow, good luck, Leon. Good luck. Welcome to your doom. Yeah, hey, good luck. <laughs> the final thing, guys, is homework. Now, we all skipped homework when we were at school, but this- Silence, you fool. Yeah, let's leave it there. She's made enough points. Lovely woman. Good luck, Leon. Good luck. <laughs> Seriously. Some men would think, okay, well, if many men aren't really breaking many women off, I'm going to make sure I'm going to break many of these women off. Therefore, I could have these women stuck to me. And in some cases, that could happen. Whatever. Understand this. And understand when you hear many women talking about a lot of crap, understand how much of it is cap. And it's not even a nice cap. No, it's just a trashy, unimpressive, modern cap. Please have a nice day.